guys, it's Danine, and I'm here with my December Daily 2023 walkthrough of my albums. And this is volume one. You can see here that I did add the word art that Allie had um, shared on prep day. Um, and I also added, if you can see close here, uh, volume one, because I do have two albums. So I am going to just begin by showing you this first album. This is the page that is kind of like my introduction page. This does have light on it, so I'll turn it on and then I'll turn it off really quick. Um, the on off button is sandwiched in here. So that is able to be turned on and off if needed. This here is my contents page, and you'll see that I did go ahead and I did add all of the stories, numbers one through 25. And I did that by printing out these words on um, the sticker paper. And then I just kind of ran them through my silhouette and put them on top. So that was my last thing that I did over here is the super fun shaker page that gives my reason why. And that was uh, inspired by Nolana Lynch. She is just amazing when it comes to just fun um, and just like just so much eye candy in her work. So this was fun to recreate. And then on the back side, I just kind of filled that with a um, chipboard piece. This is the page that I created in the hybrid product play class. And you can see that just really quick. There's my journaling. Uh, you could totally check that process video out in that class. Lots of fun with stitching and a lots of fun with beads and some Photoshop tips and tricks in there as well. And this particular story was about a Santa parade underneath here. I have my journaling tucked under there. And then in addition to the journaling in this particular craft pocket, I also have um, some word art with some fun stuff hanging here. And I have additional photos, additional photos that tell the rest of the story from that particular day. Oop, there we go. And here is from the prep day, my letters to family. So I created this, this flips over and it reveals the different individuals that I chose. And then of course, inside of these are the same thing that Allie created with a photo and some stitching, which again, my sewing machine was on the blink, but it just kind of lends itself to the handmade feel. And then I see you on the back of each of these. So there are four of those, and those are all about individuals who I wanted to say something to. A lot of people did that this year, and I think everybody just had so much fun with that. And then flipping that over, we Go to story number four, which is about my cats. Full page photos, some stamping cut out. And then I created this here into a shaker with my words actually being on top so that the stuff inside of the shaker doesn't cover the words, okay? And then this one here is a fun, just a pocket, right? This is just a pocket that talks about an ornament that a friend sent to me. Here is uh, one of the trees. This is one of the plastic trees that I put um, little decorations on, a star, some, some jingles there. So that's that. And then I have this here, which is the wonderful die cut nutcracker photo on the back side. And then this here with my story on the back side. So there's three two tags, two tags, and then just this adorable tree. That was a fun one too. This one here is about crafts that I did or that I'm actually still working on, including uh, you include these type of particular felt pieces to make a tree. If you open up on the inside, you can see my journaling and then what the tree will eventually look like. And then I included some stories about some past craft projects that I had done for different um, Decembers and love that. Chunky, but adorable. This is a letter to myself. 
and I used the digital version of the Paisley Press Just a Note card and enlarged it. I have my words on the back side, and I used two of the different joy papers here. So that kind of outlines a little bit of you know where I am, where I was at in December, and and um, where I, geez, where I still am right now. But you know, every day we just keep moving on, right? This is eight. And then this was something that a lot of people did with these reeds. So if we flip over, we can see that, oops, sorry. You can see that I have the wreaths. This kind of spins up to have my word, my journaling on there and a shaker in the top. And then when you open it up, you will see the gingerbread stories of each of my nieces and nephews enjoyed doing that one like a lot and I think there might even be a template in the process video for um, doing something similar to this. On the back side I have me and my son and this is um, a collection of photos so I'll kind of fold them out for you like this one and two and then three and four and then five and six. So this all kind of folds out and tells the story of a day that my son and I spent together. Had a lot of fun with that one as well. I actually just had a lot of fun in general with December Daily this year. I just had such a good time. And then this is one of the uh, felt pockets from last year, and I put my story on there. So that was, there was just a lot of words, but imagine all of those photos and words just being in this little space. So that, I loved doing that. Over here, we have a tree like Allie did, except um, I didn't do a fold out tree. It doesn't open up. There's nothing on the inside, but I did use magnets to add these adorable little ornaments. And I believe these are all the ing words. So eating, and then again, they're all different. Playing, lift this one up, watching, on this is on vellum but it's attached to the other page behind it so um it's still cute still cute still cute 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 here is my in the news story and this has another craft pocket the big 11 um some general journaling about what goes on during the course of a year and my thoughts about it and then each one of these is a different story uh, what is going on around me in the news? So photo, and then if you can see up here, just a little blurb about what's going on in each one of these photos. There's Taylor. How could you not have Taylor in a in the news story from 2023? Um, again, just you know, good things, bad things. Um, I do do one of I do one of these in every December daily over the past couple years. So. I enjoy doing that. Here is a, another template that I'm sharing. Um, if you look on the process videos, um, this is George, my cat, did some embossing here on some wooden numbers. Story here, you flip that over and it is the story of my Snoop on the stoop and how he kind of followed me around this year and the antics that he got involved in. Um, another. I believe another template is also available for this window card that I created. I think I ended up sharing it even though I wasn't quite happy with it. Um, and then you open that up and on the inside is some art from the internet and my story about Snoop on the stoop. And that was, that was um, it was nice to have him around over the holidays. Never had an elf on the shelf because my son was too old by the time that came around. And I suppose you're never too old for Elf on the Shelf, but when I saw Snoop, I thought, hmm, he's perfect for what I do and my lifestyle. And then there's really nothing on the back here. I just left that go. I, I could always go back and put something just on there, but I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with not having every single thing filled. All righty, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first album. Um, definitely a labor of love for me this year, creating the process videos and just putting everything together. Um, I won't tell you it wasn't a lot of work because it was, but it most certainly was very, very joyous work. Okay, so that is the first volume. 
Okay, so then let's go on to volume two here. Volume two begins with story number 14, where I used a lot of the three by four journal cards. And on the inside, I have here the chipboard frames from Paisley Press and loved making them into this kind of opening here to reveal my photos. And then underneath, I have these three by four cards. And so we have gathering, we have remembering, and we have gifting. And each one of those tells a different part of the story. A little bit of ribbon on those guys to pull them out. You flip over. And the next, right here on this side, get that going there, is kind of like a filler page because this was the page that I wanted to create. I wanted it to be on the right. So I kind of used uh, one of these phrases from, I believe, last year. I sewed it onto a piece of patterned paper added a heart there, and that was going to cor kind of correspond with this side here. Um, this here is a pull out, so it's kind of lets the viewer pull up, get some reading. There's a little bit of a phrase there, a little maybe saying or something, and then a photo on the inside. And that was a fun idea. Over here, I just have the journaling. This is a wonderful card from the work story kit and then my story on the back side. So that came together quite nicely. This card was one of those cards that I, I had sitting on my desk and I, I was like, I'm going to use this card somewhere. And it just kind of fit with the story. This is on um, a transparency one of the transparencies from the kit. So I kind of went ahead to the other side and formatted it very similar. The photo over here of my cat garlic, and then over here it's covered with patterned paper. And then I have this wonderful fold out with, with the uh, digital version of the, the die cut insert, the tree. You can see in my process video how I did that. And then you can see that I use some of the die cut presents here to make a little stack, some of the sayings, um, and then a story, right? A story about my cat. So this turned out really cute and it was fun to do this and make this tree and have it fold open like that. Here's my version of Allie's December colors. So um, my video shows you how I did some uh, ink blending here, and then I just have my photos. This pocket, this pocket page, um, I created from a 10 by 8 um, regular plain uh, page protector, and then I just used the fuse tool to cut it into eight squares of very similar size. And then the back side of that is just a repeat. I also did the back side the same way. And then I put photos in on that side. So it's not a lot of journaling here, just a little phrase that says, um, keep searching for the colors when everything turns gray always. And so that's it, right? Just focusing on the colors for that one. Uh, this is celebrating this. This is another flip out page um, with some foiling, a large photo, the plastic tags here. And then this opens up. I'll show you here how this opens up and you can see um, Again, you can get a little bit of an idea how I put this all together in my process videos, but this opens up and kind of shows you some of the things that I am celebrating um, this particular season. And, and you can just take a look at those there like that. So that was another one that I had a, a nice, uh, you know, a nice time putting together. It was very creative and fun to do. Uh, here is my Santa sack created from the uh, Halloween cauldron. And with all of the goodies inside, I used the tags from the 10 by 8 paper with these tags. And I have uh, lots of goodies hanging from them. Lots of goodies on twine with some ribbon, my story. And then on the back are the photos of, of what goes along with my story. This is about my memory keeping journey through uh, 2023 and then going forward and looking into 2024 as well. So again, more tags hanging, more story, more photos. And then there is one last tag uh, with the photo and then the story on the back. So this is just something I like to incorporate. I think this is the second year that I wrote about my memory keeping journey in my December daily. And um, as long as my journey continues, I will continue to include that type of page. Over here, we have a big 20. So you can see this is a, 
a, a die cut 20. I shared that as well. Um, Allie did something similar to this a couple years ago with a puzzle where she had the middle come out. And then if you flip it over, you can see that I have my journaling underneath. And again, fun stuff hanging because I love the hanging stuff. I just, I enjoyed that. There's so much that I enjoyed this year. I just, I enjoyed all of the different creative ideas that, um, that I got from other people. I enjoyed kind of making them my own. And of course, videotaping everything was definitely part of the fun. Backside here is another, just, I, I did it backwards and I did the um, patterned paper with a Joy Plastic Heart. Here is my Peace Out page that is using the te technique that Pam Baldwin taught us in prep day. I made this die cut. So this is also something that you can um, get from one of the process videos. And here we have a photo of me on the last day of school. And then of course on the back side, I have the story of the last day of school. And that's something I've been doing for years as well. Looking forward to winter break always do a page about that. One of the things that I pointed out in the process video for this one is that this die cut would be really, really great to add to the end of your December daily or to the end of an album that you do with your, you know, some people do um, Project Life albums and maybe you can just add this in at the end. Peace out to the year. I didn't put anything on the back of this yet. I realized that after I had put everything away. So I will find something to put there. In the meantime, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, this is the page that has the diamonds that open up and show you songs that I was listening to, as well as some journaling. So not all the songs I was listening to, but some of my favorites. Here is the diamond with the journaling talking about the music that I was listening to. And you'll see that again, just all screenshots from my iTunes library underneath those. Fun page, totally again, uh, was inspired by another creative mind in order to do that. Flipping that over, you're going to see a full page photo that I did some word art on that was fun to do. Uh, using this font and putting it kind of coming out from behind my friend. So that was a little bit different. Uh, here is a just, this is a wonderful pocket full of wonderful things. Um, beginning with these vellum tags where I did add um, wording, words, journaling on one side. And then screenshots from some text messages on the other side. And then inside my pocket, I have a lot of memorabilia. So this was a piece from a game that we played. And this held some of the game pieces. And of course, as soon as I saw that, I said, oh, I absolutely need that. And I used it to kind of make it into a frame with some photos. And it does have photos and embellishments on both sides. That was something that I, as soon as I saw it, I knew. Um, my friend Candy, she is all about saving things for me. So um, I also put this in there. This was, she bought me a pair of socks and she wrote me a little poem. So I kept the poem. Um, on the door, on the day that I went to have dinner with her, she always puts a sign, kind of pretending that her house is a restaurant. This time it was Snowpecchio Bednardio's Italian Bistro. So this is fun stuff, and she always prints out copies for me, so I knew this was going to be a pocket day so I could add all the fun stuff. Um, she got a coaster for me when she went away to New York City because these are hard to come by at the bars around my area. And then this, of course, here was the menu that she had of the day. So this is just, she prints out menus. She stands them like you would see in a restaurant with... Um, uh, little candles around them and bottles of wine. It's like all fancy. And, and so she made a copy of the menu for me. So again, memorabilia, if you took or looked at my big picture, um, authentic storytelling two class, I did a, a lesson on memorabilia. I save so much. And sometimes I completely forget to add the memorabilia. And when I do remember, I get so excited because I know I'm going to love looking back at this and remembering this day and what we did. And this memorabilia is just going to kind of bring everything 
um, make it more real, right? Make me remember these things uh, a little bit more vividly, so to speak. Flipping that over, we get to story 24, which is um, another flip out page. Uh, this is the presents from the package 10 by 8 paper on a transparency. And it tucks underneath this little half circle here. And then you open that up and there's a photo of me. I'll get closer there. There's a photo of me and my son. And then here is some journaling on a modified digital version of a paper from, I believe it was the Numbers Quarterly Scrapbook Kit. So you can see how I modified this in that lesson as well. And that just gets tucked right under there again. So perfect, right? And then last but not least, of course, is 25. And I'm going to move this over now because I want to just kind of pull this out and show you another idea that um, several different creatives did. And I gave them credit in the photo, I mean, the process video. Um, but this kind of pulls out and then you have it flipping over. So that is was just wonderful. Did some foiling on my journaling as well. Um, love and joy. And then that just kind of stays down like that. Loved that one. And then on the back side, I wanted to put a filler. So this is, and this paper is just one that I totally needed to use this year. I kind of hoarded it and I was going to put it away. And then I thought, no, there will be another fun paper similar to this next year, or it may be different, but there'll be something next year. Why not add it in? So that's what I did. This is one of the die cut circles. I printed out, bring on the next chapter, and I put it on top of there. The tiny little green chipboard star. So this is a filler because this page I created early in this place to hold my Christmas cards um, the ones that come with photos. So I don't have all of them in there because I'm honest. A lot of them are still hanging on my wall. I haven't gotten around to it yet. This is the Christmas card that I sent out with uh, my holiday wishes to my friends. So I kind of just punched holes and put that in there. And then this is that page that holds the photos. So you could make this and put anything in it. You could make it a day, right? You could make this day whatever, um, put day whatever here and you could tuck your photos and your journaling inside of there or you can do what I did and use the felt circle with the paper that goes inside of it. That's fine as well, um, but this is held down with magnets. So whatever you put inside isn't going to come out. Um, I ended up adhering this right to the back of the album because I just I'm not going to look past that and I didn't want to put anything on the back side of that. So I just used some adhesive and I just kind of adhered that right down. So that's it guys. That is my December daily 2023. And I just want to say one more time, thank you to everyone who has followed me and gosh, just um, reached out to me with messages and comments. And and it just, you have no idea how grateful I am for the fact that, that, that you guys appreciated all of this because it definitely was a labor of love. And I can completely tell you that um, it was fun, um, but it definitely made the process a little bit longer for me. Um, I'm totally planning on doing it next year again. So I will be here sharing with you um, with my December Daily 2024. If you're interested in following me through the year, um, I'll try to come on here and do some process videos for you guys, but I will be in the Allie Edwards um, Story Kit Classroom uh, the 12th of every month, uh, sharing a stamping idea with you guys. And I am going to also be on the Simple Scrapper platform as a creative team member as well. And then, of course, I am planning on doing another big picture class this year. And that's still in the works, but those are some of the things I have planned for 2024. Um, in the meantime, um, follow me uh, in those places, and hopefully we will be together again for December Daily in 2024. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we'll see you guys around the scrapbooking community. And I hope everybody has a wonderful 2024.